Hey everybody, today we're going to make a uh, quarter Wilma Mankiller quarter in honor of uh, Native American heritage. So uh, let's get started. So we'll use a 5 8 inch punch in our Jason's work auto punch. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, punch a hole. Get it nice and tight. We're going to whack this a couple times with this two pound brass hammer. There's the center. And we'll take get this punch out of here. There we go. So now we have a perfectly centered, perfectly centered hole. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is fold this. With this cube. Make sure the coin is nice and centered. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do one important thing. I need to uh, clean this edge up here. So we don't get any cracks when we start stretching it. Even the tiniest crack will um, tear when you start stretching it. So we want to have this nice and smooth. Okay, that looks pretty good to start. So we'll go ahead and continue this folding. All right, much better. So then we'll switch to our 17 degree folding die. The stainless steel cone. Okay. 
we don't want to go down too far with this. We don't want the con to touch the detail of the coin because it'll mar it up. So flatten it out. So that's about as far as we want to go. So now we need to anneal this coin. So we'll put it in my little annealing oven here. Quench it. And now we'll continue the folding process. This time we'll use this, uh, it's plastic actually. Continue here and finish this full. All right. So you can see the coin is flush up against the cone. So now we'll sand it again. Looks pretty good. So now we'll put it on the stretcher. And we're going to put paper towels on the stretcher to, uh, so we don't have any metal on metal contact here. We're just going to stretch this out. Get rid of that cone shape. I can feel it starting to work hard, so we're going to have to kneel again. Just when it starts to turn red. All right, back to the stretcher. Sand this edge, make sure we don't get any cracks. That will ruin our day for sure. I think we're good. 
so back in the stretcher. Okay, now that we've got it stretched out, the next step is to run it through a Swedish wrap die to straighten the walls up. And to prepare the coin, we wrap plumber's tape around it, about 10 wraps, and that will protect the detail of the coin from going down through this narrow uh, angle die. It's only like five degrees, so. Start with the reeded edge first. Go ahead and push it down. And then we will continue. Keep turning this as we go to get a nice even push on it. Now, as you can see, it squeezes the, the tape down as it goes down through that die. So now we'll turn it around and put the other side in, even it up. Take this tape off, see what we got. It looks pretty good, nice and straight. So the first thing we're gonna do to finish the ring is let it soak in the pickle pot for a couple minutes. Get rid of that fire scale. All right, so I think we've had enough time in the pickle pot, so let's take this out. Yeah, looks much better. Give it a rinse. Now we'll start to get her polished up. Dry it first. Take some four out steel wool, start buffing it up. Yeah, it's really starting to look nice now.
I think the inside needs a little more work. Now we'll switch over to this buffing pad, buffing block, whatever you want to call it. This will bring out the luster. And when we get this done, we'll use some mother's uh, polish to really get it finished off. All right, next step is going to take some of this mother's mag and aluminum polish and polish this thing up a little bit. When we get this done, we'll put it in an ultrasonic cleaner and steam clean it. And then we'll move on to the patina stage. This mother's polish is super, super good for bringing out the luster of the shine of the metal. Most coin makers, ring makers agree that it's uh, probably the best. Now check this out, looks pretty darn nice even if I do say so myself. Okay, next step, put it in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner and steam it and then we'll go forward with uh, patina. All right, let's drop this in the ultrasonic cleaner. Press the button, and we'll be back in about six minutes. All right, so our six minutes is up. So we'll get this out of here, dry it off, and steam clean it.
Wow, it's looking pretty good. Enough of the fun part. Very nice, very nice. So the only thing I've been able to find uh, that will put a patina on these clad coins is a product called Black Free by Kohler. So we're actually going to have to plate this on here. I've tried uh, liver sulfur, it, it doesn't work. So I've got everything set up here. The solution preheated to um, approximately 130. So let's get this fired up. We're going to plate um, 3.5 volts for approximately 30 seconds or 60 seconds. So we'll get the stirrer going. And we're using the uh, stainless steel anode here. So we're ready to go. Forty-five seconds. All right, five more seconds. All right, I think we're good. Good to go. And rinse it off in distilled water. And uh, you can see it plated a nice uh, black over the over the coin ring. All right, so we'll buff off this uh, the highlights and uh, see what we get. Okay, so the last step to finish this ring is that we're going to put on a clear coat and that's going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to help this uh, patina really pop and second, uh, these clad coins are well known for turning some people's fingers green. So this clear coat is going to seal it and uh, prevent that from happening. So I'm using a uh, powder coating system from Harbor Freight. It's modified. And instead of using the gun with a uh, air compressor, I've got this modified shaving uh, brush that we're gonna use to apply the, uh, the clear coat. So this clear coat is going to go on white And then as it heats, it will turn clear. Turn this around, get the other side. Another shot. Looks pretty good. So we'll take it to the oven. Okay, last step, we're gonna bake this ring. We're in 325, 15 minutes. 
And as you can see, uh, the clear coat is actually starts out as white. As the uh, powder liquefies, it will turn clear. As you can see, this is just a uh, old uh, oven I found out in the shed. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, just needs to get hot. Sorry for the shaking there, the swinging. We'll watch it turn here in a second. A few seconds actually. You can actually see it starting to, there it goes. There it goes, turning from white to clear. Pretty cool, huh? All right, we'll be back in about 15 minutes. So there you have it. Wilma Man Killer, US 25 cent coin ring. So if you enjoyed this video, if you get anything out of it, please give it a like, maybe even follow if you wouldn't mind. All right, guys, have a great day. See ya.